Hello there, this is Matt Petrowski. I'm a MailMate user and an enthusiast, been using it for a number of years and love it. Made the switch from Gmail in the browser and I'm here to stay. Now in this video, we're taking a look at interacting with email, getting the most from your messages when you're interacting with those messages within MailMate. As I switch to the actual browser view or the one of the many different views, what I want to show you is how you can get the most out of interacting with your mail. Now, all I've done at this point in time is I've simply added one single account. The whole goal here with MailMate is to really take full control over all of your email across all of your accounts. So I highly suggest you add as many or all of your accounts into all of your sources. See the video on adding accounts if you skipped that one and you can basically see how you just add in your accounts. With Gmail, it's super easy. All you have to know is a couple of addresses and your own address, and then it'll add those th accounts for you after authorizing. Once you get the mail into MailMate, it's just like any other mail client. You can simply click on a message and it will load that message. Now here's one of the great things about MailMate. It's not going to load any images or any files. And in fact, as you hover over links, you can see when I hover over that link there, it shows down at the bottom. In fact, sometimes those links will be red, sort of warning you. But it tells you right off the bat that it blocked five external references. So in other words, Twitter doesn't even know that I read this email because I didn't load any of their HTML resources. There's no invisible pixels that are loaded, nothing. I would have to click load once or mark as not junk in order to get this to load. Well, marking as not junk is nothing that I need to do right now, but loading it would actually load all of the resources and then Twitter would be able to use that information as metrics in order to know that, hey, another person actually saw or read this message and they have your IP address, but that's about it. Well, in this example right here. It's really nice that you can actually look at this within a particular view. And in the intro, I showed how you can use the view option and change your layout. We can look at a correspondence view, which is basically going to show us all of the different correspondence based on a thread basis of looking at everything from a particular sender. In this case, you can see right here that I've got all of the different Twitter accounts right here. You can also click on the correspondence by clicking these buttons up here. Find and display messages from the same conversation, which this one won't have any but the one, but it keeps track of the internal ID on the email messages. And basically those conversations are really nice to follow if you want to filter them out. You also have this thread right here, find and display messages between the same correspondence. So in this case, what we're looking at here in this view up in the top portion is basically the same thing in terms of what I switched to for a layout. My layout by going to my view allows me to actually look at my correspondence. Now if I choose this next option of statistics, what we can see is out of all of my messages, we can see that eh, Tumblr bot is pretty much sending me a lot of stuff. 97. 7% of all messages that are here are coming coming from Tumblr. Now, of course, within the Gmail interface, within the browser, I, I lack the ability to sort. But here, I can easily say, I want to sort this and look at everybody who is sending me stuff from Twitter. And as I scroll down, go to Tumblr or whoever else it is, basically see whatever I want to see. I want to get rid of a bunch of Tumblrs? No problem. I'll select those that I want to get rid of and delete them. Now here's what I consider to be one of uh, MailMate's biggest features. When I have a number of messages selected or even a single message selected, I can hit the return key and what it will do is open up that single message in its own window. And what's really nice is when I quit MailMate and open MailMate back up, these same windows will be open. But what's really cool, a very big benefit about MailMate is that with multiple items selected, if I hit that same return key, MailMate will open up with multiple messages loaded. You can see that it says that it has six messages and those are all loaded within that one window. Now in the case of this HTML email, it's not super efficient or effective for me 
because it's very difficult for MailMate to actually grab each individual message and then convert all of those into one giant HTML email. So it works a lot better with plain text messages. But if you recognize the fact that all six of these messages are loaded, from a power user standpoint, what's really nice is being able to do a command A, select everything, especially if they're all plain text messages, and be able to copy all of the contents of them all at one time. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, one of the things that's also grabbed is all of the email headers. That includes the to, the from, subjects, dates, you name it. You can grab all of those out of that one window, which is a really nice benefit. You can also apply all of your different actions to all of these mails, such as archiving them, deleting them or moving them to junk and deleting them. And that's what these options are here. I can also reply, do other things that might not make sense. I can also flag and tag messages if I'd like to. And one of the nice benefits you can see right here is the ability to quick look on attachments. So if there's an attachment such as an image or a PDF that you are considering is okay to look at, you know, not something from somebody that might be sending you something malicious, always be careful. You can quick look that right here within MailMate. You don't have to save it out. You basically just quick look it. And of course, we've got the always inefficient print. If you do need to print a copy, and take it somewhere. But what's really nice is being able to see all of these at the same time. Now, it's not just this one view that we have where we can look at correspondence or statistics. We also have other views where we can look at thread arcs. We can look at three panes, which that's going to give us all of our different panes where we can select on any one of these messages. And just like we're used to in other mail editors, we can look at them. You can select on multiple and all of those multiple, just like when we hit the enter key, will load into this one lower pane. Now, if you don't like this or you have a large monitor, as I move this to the side, you can change the view in terms of the layout. Let's see, it's off to the side. Where is that layout? widescreen. There it is, number five. So this is the view that I like a lot of the time because I get a lot of vertical space right here, but I can also see on the side. And if I want to see multiple at a time, of course, I'm sorted by from right now. But if I wanted to see my, according to my date received, or if I'm doing any type of filtering, which the filtering in MailMate is awesome, by the way, we'll cover that in another, another video. I can see exactly what I want to see, how I want to see it, and do whatever I want to those messages.